26 and three quarters. No way, it's gotta be 27. <laughs> Jason coming back at you with another video here on the PC Fun YouTube channel. Today we've got a very special guest, Walleye Pro, Max Wilson. We're out here ripping, ripping wraps, chasing big, studly Green Bay walleyes. Stay tuned for the action. All right guys, so we're out here with Walleye Pro, Max Wilson, and we're doing a little bit of walleye fishing here. It's spring in Wisconsin, and uh, we are hooked we're hooked up. up. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what happens when you try to film an intro. It's all you gotta do is put the camera on and do an intro and... <laughs> cool when they play the game like that <laughs> this is rare footage of andy bull catching a fish. this is rarer than the albino 12 pointer bigfoot loch ness monster all getting together for dinner Let's see if we got the right species that one looks right yeah, one feels yeah. Right. oh it looks right too yeah oh yeah 20 bucks otherwise i hit it with the net <laughs> Smoked it too. Oh yeah, That's nice cool, fish. Baby. That is what you come up here for. Yeah, that's the one right there. Look at that. Andy, <laughs> this is congratulations crazy. on getting your first wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, don't do it when we're trying to film stuff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> be a little more concerned. <laughs> come on. Oh, she's big and angry. Heck yeah. Yeah. 20, 27 three quarters, I'm calling. Let's see if Max can hit it on the head twice. 27 three quarters. Let's quarter. see this. Right up here. Might be a little bit longer. <laughs> what did I say? 27 and three quarters. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> what did no, I say? <laughs> that's a big walleye, guys. Big, beautiful Here's fish. Here, Andy. Here's your fish. Awesome. Go ahead and get a boat side release here if you want. There she goes. Nice fish, dude. Thank you. Smoke it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna try this whole intro we're thing back. again, and we're gonna, <laughs> we're back. We're, we're gonna see if the walleyes don't interrupt us this time. So, like I said, we're out here doing some spring fishing, Wisconsin. Big, big Green Bay walleyes. Um, I think one of the big reasons Max likes coming out here is because there's not a whole lot of places on this earth where you can go and chase walleyes of this magnitude. So what I want Max to do, you know, he fishes tournaments as a pro. I want him to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about how he chases these fish and what he utilizes to catch them. Yeah, you know, this time of year is a, a great time of year because these fish are big. Uh, you know, you have a mixture of pre and post spawners. So you have long skinny fish and, you know, real thick heavy fish. and. You know, for me, a lot goes into the equipment that I'm using. You know, I, I like a rod uh, when I'm throwing stuff like uh, reel up out of the depths here. You know, when I'm using ripping wraps in this deeper water, a little bit heavier baits, rattle baits, I like a medium light action rod, uh, a little bit softer tip so you can really get that vibration, really get that action, and you can feel everything, especially a little bit of deeper water that we're in. I like something that you can feel that uh, feel that action of the bait all the way up here so you're getting the right cadence down. You know, I like a reel that, uh, you know, you can kind of change your cadences with. You know, it's, it's real smooth to use. You can, uh, you know, work it really slow but you're not having to reel really fast to pick up that line so you know that honor xt is really the do it all reel for me you know yesterday i was casting swim baits you know i was able to slow roll that in the colder water today we're ripping ripping wraps hair jigs you know you can even cast cranks with it so it's a really kind of a do it all reel you know i like to pair it with 10 pound test with a little bit heavier leader um you know and that real clear fluorocarbon in this clear water it's just a it's a deadly combination you know especially we have 38 degree water temps here so everything's really finesse you kind of really have to really trick these walleyes into eating so you know everything has to be perfect for me at least when i'm fishing for these for these uh post spawn females oh yeah throw them pin it right to the bottom what's that oh 
First fish of the day, guys, was that third cast, I think. As long as it wasn't the first cast. Yeah, oh, can't do first back. cast. Okay, let's see if I can't see that on my Yeah. <laughs> Just oh, it just came off, dude. There, it goes swimming. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. The only thing worse than losing a big fish is being able to watch it swim yeah. away on live scope. <laughs> Guys, I just lost that fish. It was a good one, too. And we watched it swim away on the live scope. Talk about a kick in the nuts. That was a 30. Oh, yeah. It was definitely a big fish. <laughs> That's Never for lost sure. a small fish. Definitely a big fish. Get it up here, Jesus. I'm trying. I'm not being gentle. Hooked in the butthole. Stop. <laughs> okay, guys, sometimes this is kind of what happens out here. See, that's a really big female. But uh, these fish are so thick in here, and believe it or not, you know, if they swipe at your bait, sometimes it'll slide, go down the edge, um, or you just happen to hop right into the belly of them right along the bottom. So sometimes that happens. Go ahead and get that girl back right away. What happened? so max i know i'm i'm not a big walleye fisherman I, I mean i do it you know i'm like the the rookie spring walleye guy i only do it during the spring when everybody else goes to the run um but i'm curious you know when do you make decisions on you know how how much you're ripping it or you know how fast or how slow and that sort of thing you know a lot of it goes off a of water temp for me um you know when when we're in those high 30s very low 40s and water water's pretty chilly I like to do it to where I'm just being able to feel that that uh, bait rattle. Uh, you know, it's kind of like ripping a blade bait. You want to do it to where you're just feeling that that vibration of the bait, and then I'm letting it fall. I'm doing real short, small hops. You know, and a lot of times color plays a huge factor this time of year, especially in clearer water. Um, you know, when it's like we have a, a storm rolling in, thankfully. Um, when it's a little cloudy, overcast, I like that uh, more matte color. And you're working it real slow, but when you get on those sunny days, what's really helpful is going with like a chrome-based bait, because we're working these baits so slow and they're so uh, finicky, is that little flash of that chrome will help get those fish to, to react to it. So, you know, you're just working everything slow, everything finesse, just barely hopping it. They're either crushing it or they're just chasing it and they're pinning it on bottom. So a lot of times, you want to make sure and jig it all over the boat, vertical jig it, and just make sure and work everything as slow as possible. Once that water gets up into the mid to high 40s, low 50s, that's when you start going those bigger rips and uh, letting it fall. That thing hammered. I could tell by the way he set the hook that he definitely smoked it. Dude, he absolutely engulfed it. I bet you this ripping wrap's gone. <laughs> like, I can feel it in its throat. Right Choked. Now. <laughs> that. I was talking to my buddy the other day. It's funny how much money you spend and how much you put yourself through just to feel that thump. Right, that's that, why that we one fish. second moment. That's why we travel. That's why we do fish through all the rain, fish through all this crap, <laughs> is to feel that thunk. And that's what we felt right there. That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. I don't even care. This could be a 15-incher. I'd, <laughs> I'd love it. Oh, and they knock slack in it, man. That's a different bite. Thunk. Watch, it's going to be a white fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'd quit fishing if this was a Oh, no, that's a nice walleye. That. a big walleye. Look, I told you that ripper. Yeah, it's, it's gone. gone. You definitely called that. <laughs> yep, she's, she's definitely gone. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, guys. Just... That bait is adios. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he ate that on the fall. It was coming right towards him. You got nose first into his mouth right there. Crazy. That is so cool. Gotta love it when they eat it like that, man. Gosh, look at it. He's coming like out of the, the bottom of his mouth. Like the hook's coming out of the bottom of his mouth. Holy crap. <laughs> He's not going to do it. Beautiful fish. It's a nice, beautiful little 24 incher. Fat, though. Yeah, they're just so thick. I mean, even across the back and look just. You, she, she spawned. You can see that yep. little V, but she's already putting on weight, just yep. feeding like crazy. Up beautiful. On <laughs> See you later, Mama. All right, guys, we're hooked up. That was the goofiest double clutch hook set ever. I almost, almost messed it up. Pull the Logan again. <laughs> I had to do the hardcore lean to keep the fish pinned. It's the bass guy in you. Yep. It's not, your fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> there we go. That's the right kind right there. Tony for right there. Check that one out, guys. In the net. 
there we go. That's what we like to see. Guys, let's see if we can get a measurement on this fish. We got a board right here. I'm calling 26 and three quarters. No way, it's gotta be 27. Wow, it's almost like they do this all the time. Maybe yeah, so. it's like literally. Oh, it's almost oh, like I oh, do oh. this. Crazy. You think Max Wilson's caught a walleye or two in his life? All right, guys, let me go ahead and get that big, beautiful door County walleye back in the water here. There she goes. Yeah, she was feisty. You gotta love them in that cold water, man. It doesn't take much. They're ready to go. That's going on down, though. Andy Exotic, white, white fish king. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Got that on camera. <laughs> Fifty any money they, they, they whip a Yui. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm feeling wall I ask. He screams, hits the waypoint. Boat sinking. Look at this. Two fat guys in the back of the boat. Let me get on the other side, I'll balance it out. There yeah, we go. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, nice walleye. Yes. Heck yeah, dude. Nice fish. Was it on the blade again? Yeah. Yeah. That might be a white fish. <laughs> yeah, that is not a white fish. You got, you got that's mad. A big, that might be the biggest one of the day, I think, for sure. That's a... There's no bait. Bait's gone. Oh, I felt some smokey going down. <laughs> Real man. Max Wilson lip and wall eyes. Lip wall <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that bait is Open. way, way gone. Open. Just let us see in there. Wow, way gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good luck digging that one out. Gonna need these. Here, get in there quick. I got her mouth. One more hook. There she goes. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Big noggin. We should bump that one. See how much she. I'm saying. Three quarter. This is a half. Let's get the measurement on this fish. It's thick with three C's. <sighs> Let's see. What did I say? Wow, what the heck, dude? That, that's kind of I... scary. 27, 27 and a half, and it's literally like touching the half line. <laughs> but I mean, in his defense. Technically, you could maybe make it. If this is an aim, I could make it 28. <laughs> since I measure... <laughs> Max is always right because he's the one measuring. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that the truth? Another awesome fish. Look at, Andy. Look, at, look at the indent on its cheek right there. You see that? Oh yeah, that's weird. You wouldn't get any wallet cheeks out of that one yeah. if you kept it. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, cheeks that one's normal. Yep. This one's indented. That one's got a little indent in it. That's are weird. Might have been a, something that happened to it when I was young or something. That's a gross inward. Huh. No, no, don't go overboard. Hey. <laughs> there you go. So guys, the last two fish that have been caught have been caught on that bait right there. That's a blade bait. It's even got a little spinner on the front hook there. So basically when the water is really cold like this, you're just doing really subtle hops, just enough to make this bait kind of vibrate. It's a little more subtle than that rip and wrap. And uh, Andy's caught the last two fish, so it's working. You know, as the morning went on, it kind of a storm front moved in. We got some rain that moved in, cloud cover. So we went with more of a solid type of color instead of more chrome-based baits, you know. And we went with more goby s type of colors, more crawdad type of colors in those rocks what those fish are more feeding on. You know, when with, with your like, chrome-based baits, you're more targeting or mimicking LYS, more bait fish type of stuff, more bottom-esque type of baits. And those fish, when the storm front moved in, they moved towards the bottom. So we're kind of just hopping at real small hops, you know. And in, in, anytime, you know, I like to go based off the sun based off the cloud cover you know and then you match your hatch first i like the shine reflection and then from there you go in into your actual colors all right guys that is a wrap for today's youtube video we had a blast out here in green bay chasing big great lakes walleyes max wilson is always a blast to fish with and also a blast to learn from a lot of information in this video guys if you want to go out and you want to chase these big walleyes make sure you listen to what he said go out there and put it to use and you can catch some of these big fish too We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Head on over, check us out on Instagram, and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you on the water next time.